everyone, it's Brittany here from Green Bee Floral Farm in Strathroy, Ontario. Today I am here um, working on a bridal bouquet for this weekend. So I wanted to bring you along on the process so you could see how we construct some of our bridal bouquets. We're just doing um, a very small uh, bouquet for her today, uh, mostly using whites and purples. You can see right here beside me I have all the flowers laid out. Um, so, we're going to start here um, just by getting your base together. I'm going to actually start by using these thistles. Um, so we're going to trim off that center stem uh, because that's just going to get in the way. And now we have something that we can kind of start weaving some of our foliage through. We're going to cut that center thistle out. Out it comes. And now we have a base here. The reason I like starting with the thistles is simply because it gives me uh, the chance to kind of create a grid on the bottom. Uh, we try and use no floral foam um, and nothing plastic here if we don't have to. Um, so the nice thing with thistles is that it kind of creates a nice grid in there and that gives me the option to start weaving the greenery in like so. Sometimes with bouquets, what you can do is use like the, uh, the actual market bouquet style method, the hand tied bouquet style. Uh, for wedding bouquets, I typically like to do something that feels a little bit more organic. Uh, this bride specifically wanted to make sure that we had peonies, so we're going to be uh, starting with our focal flowers as soon as we get some of this beautiful ruscus in. for our bouquet to come together. So we're using white peonies for this. I'm going to trick the peonies. If they're looking like they might not open, um, you're just actually going to give the base a bit of a squish. That'll loosen up the bloom. I'm just going to go ahead and start weaving my flowers. Now, because this bride is actually picking up her flowers today, and it is a Wednesday, um, I am not leaving the peonies, so normally I would give the peonies a couple days to kind of like open. We're not doing that this time because I want these to stay good. Her wedding is on Saturday, so she's going to be transporting these and keeping them um, in cold, and then taking them out the morning of her wedding so that her flowers will open and be absolutely stunning. springtime. Purple Larkspur is one of my favorite flowers to use. It's so whimsical. It's so organic feeling. Snapdragons. You can 
see too now that I've got a pretty substantial grid going on. Weaving my flowers through. It's a lot simpler to do. I like snaps because they have a lot of movement to them. actually piece apart some of these pieces. We're going to add a little bit more of that foliage in at the base. Taking off a lot of the excess there. Roses here, a little bit of extra support. I'm just going to tuck that in underneath there. And then the bouquet is ready to be tied. So, to tie the bouquet, um, a lot of florists might use um, tape to wrap around. What I prefer to do is because I like to maintain plastic free as much as possible. Um, is I keep jute twine always in my flower studio, cut a length of it, uh, usually about the length of my arm, fold it in half, this is a great little tip, um, then you can use your thumb to lay it um, and wrap around to secure the flowers into place. Once you're done you can see on the back here. You're going to loop it through a hole and then you've got these two strings. At this point you can lay your bouquet down. Everything will stay in place and you can just tie a knot at the back 
with those two strings. Now, if I was doing a hand tied bouquet for a client just out of the store, I would leave my stems about this length um, and the flowers would go out just like that. But because we're doing bridal, you're gonna trim, trim those up, making sure to clean up the floor after. Make sure everything's relatively the same length. You're going to go in, trim on an angle. There you go. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my ribbon. I'll show you how I'm going to attach that. So I have several different types here um, of ribbons. These are nice kind of sheen looking color ribbon so obviously I'm not going to be using red for this one so what we are going to use is this much more stunning kind of like off pink white so you can see how beautiful this is going to be so again, I'm going to take this, um, the bride wants a nice tight weave on this, so we're going to be wrapping this around, we're not going to be leaving the ends to hang. Um, so I'm actually going to be cutting it about this long, again, it's about arm's length, and we're going to do the same thing for the bridesmaids bouquets. Now this method I like because it doesn't actually require me to have my pins on hand. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm going to take this, I'm going to wrap it once around. I'm going to bring it up. Here's where I'm going to actually loop it, and the reason why I'm going to loop it is it actually um, hides that little bit of twine there that's underneath. Come around, we'll loop it again. At the back, make sure it's nice and tight. Come around, turn your bouquet over. What I'm going to do is just tie the knot and just tuck this underneath like so. And that it's tied. So see how you cannot actually tell at the front at all. It is just a beautiful bouquet. Now the mark of any good bouquet is if it stands up properly on its own. It means it is even the weight is distributed. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled about this bouquet. I'm so happy for the way it turned out. And this way now when the bride is walking up, it's not too wild of a bouquet, uh, but it's definitely in line with what she asked for.